I just came from a run. Now I'm telling you a simple way to make your own healthy granola. First, you put this whole uh, uh, can of, uh, of oatmeal, put it right here, and then you put some, I put cinnamon. Boy, you can put as much cinnamon as you like, and then you just mix it together like this. See, when it's nicely mixed, then you take one of these frozen cans of juice. One here, it doesn't have any sugar, it's just concentrated juice. And when it's nice and cold, you just put it right there. And then you will just simply mix it. Mix it until it's nice and moist. You see, it's nice and moist, but not mushy. You don't want this to be mushy, just nice and moist. And it just takes one of these cans. Now, then I grease this, but with what grease I used? Coconut oil. Why it doesn't get rancid? And I just put it nice around the pans. And they are both here. I put oil on them. And then what I do, I take half of this and I put it in one. And I put the other half in the other one. Okay, and you see you spread it all nicely. And you put do it all during this time you have the oven going on or preheating at 300 degrees. That's in my stove. And now, you put this one, you put one on the bottom, and you take the other tray and put it on the top, and then you go off to do whatever you want to for 30 minutes. That's in my stove. It might be a little bit different in your stove. But it is, you go, whatever, uh, whatever do whatever you need to do, and I'm going to go take my shower, and this one is going on for 30 minutes. Okay, see you later. Okay, well, approximately 20, 30 minutes have passed. And I'm taking the one in the bottom. I already mixed that one that was on the top. And this and the bottom, I mix it. Make sure that you get the ones in the corners like this so that it is well mixed. Okay, so you kind of get it all turned and well mixed. I already, before I took it out, I had already mixed it well. So mix it very well so that it will be toasted uniformly, okay? So you see, it's like I went around the corners here and I turned it well. You make sure that you mix yours very well too. And as you see this, you again uh, even it out. approximately 25 minutes but you know sometimes I do it for more so just make sure that you turn it so it will not burn and I've had my share of burns too now this one that was on the bottom I'm now putting it on the top and I've already mixed this one also and this one that was on the top I'm putting it now on the bottom okay and so now I just put my timer for approximately 20, 25, maybe 28 minutes, okay? And when this rings, I'll come back, so see you later. Okay, time to take them out. And see, they're nicely toasted, but not burnt. And be careful, because I can burn a number of them. I did, I put the 
walnuts and the pecans in this container right here and I ground them up like this. Now, if you don't have one like this, you can just use the pecans that are already, you know, in little pieces or you can cut them any way you want to. But I sure like this gadget. Anyway, so after we have, I have ground them up, this is about a cup and a half. Put it right here. organic raisins. This doesn't have any sugar and these are so plump and sweet. So let's put them right here. Now you can put as many raisins as you like. You can also put figs if you like to. You can put a date, uh, anything. And uh, here I'm choosing to put, I usually don't put this many raisins, but I like raisins. And it just sweetens the cereal in a natural way. And you don't need sugar. And here, so you got it. You just mix it nicely, very nicely. Mix it. And here you have the best tasting granola. It is simple to make. It has no preservatives, no colorings. Nothing. Nice and natural. Oh man, and it is that good, full of omega 3 and iron. It beats any box cereal. The box cereals have a bunch of preservatives and also sugars. This is the sugar that you have is natural. So what I like, I like to store it in these glass jars. It keeps very well. But you can also put it in the, in uh, these Ziploc bags if you don't have these jars. But I sure like these jars. And I tell you, I make this cereal um, about once a week maybe more if I have people staying over but I know that my son he likes it very much and so does my husband and of course I eat it too and anyway so here you have your cereal and this is I have it ready to be put store in the way in the bottle in, in, in this bottle so in the morning my husband cannot say that I don't have breakfast fixed for him because ta -da, it's there good nutrition